Hi everyone, welcome back to the Vegetastic Mum channel. I hope you're all well. Today's video is something fairly simple, um, but it's more to show you that we can make these plant-based alternatives that we get for vegetarian food taste really good. I know there's quite a few comments that um, um and are about, you know, the alternatives to meat and that they taste rubbery or they taste bland. So today's video is another one just to show you that actually when everyone else is getting a kebab from down the kebab shop, you can join in as well and it can taste just as good. Let's go have a look at what we need and I hope you give it a try and enjoy. So for this recipe, for this kebab, I'm using the shawarma plant-based alternative. And I think this was from Sainsbury's. You can want some pita breads, any, you can choose which ones you have. I've got the, um, the easy to fill wholemeal ones here. I've got three cloves of garlic there crushed up. We're gonna want some oregano, some mint sauce, some Greek style natural yogurt. You can want some red onion, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, and cucumber, and some cherry tomatoes. And lastly, I'm gonna add some balsamic salad dressing to this, but if you don't have this, you can just use normal balsamic vinegar or a bit of normal vinegar will be absolutely fine. So guys, first part of this recipe, we're gonna get our plant-based shawarma kebab. And we're gonna get a liner for the air fryer. Open this up, give it a sniff. Smells quite nice. And we're going to pop it all on our liner for the air fryer. Then we're just going to take a little bit, I forgot to put this in the ingredients, my apologies, of our olive oil spray and just give it a bit of a coat. Not a lot, just a few squirts of olive oil. And Give it again with your clean hands. Just give it a bit of a, a mix up. Okay. Like so. Then we're gonna pop this into the air fryer. So we're gonna pop this into the air fryer that I haven't yet turned on. <laughs> And we're going to pop this on 195, wrong way Stacey, for five minutes. Okay, so we'll leave that to do what it needs to do and we'll move on. So guys, <laughs> because I'm an absolute complete wally, I have just been chopping away and talking away to myself, well, thinking I was talking to you for the past four minutes, doing the next step. <laughs> and I hadn't even pressed record. So, I'm just gonna quickly talk you through the next step, because it is really simple. And then we'll move on and I'll try and remember to press record. So, this was our next step. So in here, I've got chopped up red onion, quite reasonably small. I've got cucumber, left a bit large. I've chopped up the cherry tomatoes. I have added a teaspoon of oregano and three teaspoons of the balsamic vinegar dressing. And I've mixed it all up. And I've put it to one side because that's finished now. So now you know what we've done here. Let's move on to the next step. And I promise to try and remember to press record. Okay guys, so this has just beat after it's five minutes and I just want to give it, just want to give it a stir and I just want to pop it back in, so we're just going to pop it back in and we're going to pop it again, we're going to put it on 195 for a further four minutes, okay? Okay guys, so for our next step, we need another empty bowl. We are going to need 
some more cucumber and we're just going to slice up our cucumber but this time we don't want it to be too big we're going to cube it this time okay this into our bowl. So then we are going to get our Greek yogurt and a spoon that I thought I'd got out and I didn't and we're gonna put one tablespoons of yogurt into our bowl. Mint sauce. And we're going to pop in one, two. Now this all depends on how minty you like a sauce. So I like it quite minty so I'm going to add three teaspoons of mint sauce to that. garlic in there like that and we're also just going to add in just a sprinkling of oregano not a lot just a little bit because we've already got some in the salsa salad we've made and we're going to give all this a mix up this to one side as well. Now let's wait for the shawarma to have finished cooking. Okay guys so this has just finished. As you can see it's looking nice and golden and cooked. So we're going to take this out now, take the liner out with the uh, shawarma in it and pop it to one side and we're going to pop our pita bread in the air fryer. So let's do that. Okay guys so pita bread just straight in the air fryer I normally pop mine on 200 for two minutes and then we're going to put this kebab together okay guys so pretty bread's done nice and nice and crispy so first step we're going to open this up okay and we're going to take some of our salsa that we've made and we're going to load this up with some lovely salsa like so okay then our shawarma make sure you get it right down the, the back Then give it a bit of a squeeze so you get a bit more room at the top. Then you're going to take our lovely yogurt and we're going to pop that in there. This is going to be a messy one, isn't it? Like so. Again, as little or as much as you like in there. Looks beautiful. So let's get this on a plate and get it tested. I just had to show you a, a close-up of it on the plate because it looks amazing. Right, let's get this tasted. Okay guys, so let's get this tasted and see what it's like. Oh, it looks beautiful. It's going to be really messy, isn't it? Just neat first. Mm. 
that's good. Right. <laughs> I literally nearly just said, I'm going in. <laughs> Let's get this tasted. Here we go. That is so good. That really good. Mm. Wow. That is really, really good. I actually don't want to stop eating it. What I love is the freshness of everything that's in there and all the flavours. I'm totally unaware if I've got yoghurt and mint sauce or anything all around my face. If I have, just goes to show how nice it is. <laughs> really beautiful. The, the dressing, the, um, not the dressing, sorry, my apologies. The sauce that we've made with the yoghurt because it's not made with mayonnaise or anything like that. It's much more fresh. And it it hasn't hasn't got the the creaminess of mayonnaise and it's it's almost it's lighter almost than than mayonnaise. But that is really really good. Like really really good. I'm going to have another bite. Look. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the shawarma as well has got a little bit of spice to it. It's really, really nice. I would recommend it. I will be having this more. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. So I hope you try it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave a comment down below and let me know. But I would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed, everyone that likes the videos, all the comments that I've been getting have been really, really kind and really giving me the encouragement to carry on doing what I'm doing. And also all the ideas that you've all thrown at me as well for things to try for you. Um, so I have written them all on a list and they will all be coming up. So that is it for this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Take care.